Tennille Dashwood calls out the knockout champion Diona Perrazzo on Twitter. Alex Shelley says he's a free agent and indicates he wouldn't mind going back to NXT. Killer slash Karrion Cross reveals why he left Impact Wrestling yet again. The Sportster comes through with another fantastic article. All this and more coming up next on Shooting Up North with Lewis Carlin right here on the Impact Lounge. Hey folks, welcome to Shooting Up North. I'm your host, Lewis Carlin. So Tennille Dashwood took to Twitter to basically call out knockout champion Diona Perrazzo. Uh, after the, the Iron Man match, after uh, Diona Perrazzo was victorious over Jordan Grace, uh, Tennille Dashwood took to Twitter and said, I don't know if I'm buying this whole Diona Perrazzo being the best technical wrestler thing, just saying. So... This could be the start of a few there. And and Diona Perrazzo actually responded. And I thought it was quite quite humorous on uh, Diona Perrazzo's part. She responded by saying, Come to work one day and let's find out. So the seeds are planted there for a feud, or at least a match between the two. And I'm thinking, when when could this match take place? I know we haven't seen Tennille Dashwood in a while. And I'm thinking, on the, on the next episode of Impact Wrestling... Diona Peraza was having her black tie affair uh, to celebrate uh, a black tie affair to celebrate her victory over jo- Jordan Grace in the Iron Man match. So I'm thinking Tennille Dashwood is going to crash that party and challenge Diona Peraza to a match, and uh, we'll have a match. I don't know if it's going to be a Bound for Glory because technically Kylie Ray is the number one contender, but Kylie Ray is stuck in the Wrestle House. So we haven't really seen any interaction between um, Kylie Ray and Diona Perrazzo. And I'm thinking as long as Kylie Ray is in the Wrestle House, we're not going to see her in studio. So I say I don't know how that's going to work, really, because her being the number one contender, there there should be the start of some interaction between the two, unless they're going to take Kylie Ray out of the out of Wrestle House. I don't, I don't know how long Wrestle House is going to go on for. But uh, but anyway, back to Tennille Dashwood. Um, I, I'm saying that she's going to crash that party. And we're going to have a match. She's going to challenge her to a match. So we're going to have a match on uh, an upcoming episode of Impact Wrestling. It may even be Bound for Glory. But but again, I'm thinking it's Kylie Ray who's going to get that, that spot at uh, Bound for Glory. Uh, but um, expect to see Diona Perrazzo defending the title against Tennille Dashwood. Um, in the near future. It could, could be in the next couple of weeks. I'm thinking it's going to happen before Bound for Glory. But whenever it happens, uh, Diana Prazo is not going to drop the title. Diana Prazo will defeat Tennille Dashwood. Uh, you know, the last we saw Tennille Dashwood, she was uh, beaten to almost beaten to death. <laughs> I'm sorry, almost beaten to death by uh, Ty Valkyrie, and she never really got any payback on Ty Valkyrie. So maybe they just scrapped that whole feud thing, and we're not going to see uh, Tennille Dashwood go after Ty Valkyrie. But uh, yeah, but like I said, you know, I'm, I wouldn't be surprised we see Diona Prazo against against Neil Dashwood. You know, I'm surprised, you know, that they 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 haven't kept the Twitter thing going because uh, I thought it was going to lead to something very entertaining. Especially like I said, when 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 uh, Perazzo said, "Come to work one day and let's find out." You know, indicating you're never coming to work. Where are you? You? I mean, it's just true. She never shows up. I don't. I don't know if she's in Australia right now. Um, uh, but uh, but yeah. We'll keep our eyes on it. We'll keep our eyes on it. So um, be a good match. Be a good match regardless. Uh, but again, uh, Prazo won't uh, won't drop the title. Now let's go back to Wrestle House for a second. And I mentioned Kylie Ray's in Wrestle House. And um, they need to get her out of there. They need to get her out of Wrestle House. And they need to get her back in studio because Bound for Glory is coming up. She's a number one contender. We need to see some interaction as I said earlier, between Diona Perrazzo and Kylie Ray, uh, just just to build that feud up, build up that match, because it seems anyone that's in the Wrestle House is not in the studio, and uh, I don't know if they, they're going to keep it that way, but uh, it's a mistake with Kylie Ray since she's a number one contender, and uh, you need to have, you need to you need to build up that match. You can't build up a match for Bound for Glory with uh, with Kylie Ray in Wrestle House and Diona Perrazzo, you know. 
going back and forth on Twitter with with uh, Tennille Dashwood. So you, you got to get uh, Kylie Ray somehow. Somehow she needs to transport herself back to the studio and um, mix it up a little bit with uh, Diona Perrazzo. And hopefully, uh, hopefully that'll happen soon. Alex Shelley. Alex Shelley. Our one, well, one half of the Impact Wrestling uh, Tag Team Champions with Chris Sabin of the Motor City Machine Guns says that he is a free agent. Tyler Breeze and Fandango, apparently uh, they're the new um, NXT Tag Team Champions. So, Alex Shelley takes to Twitter and says, Kushida, I'm a free agent, bro. Time splitters challenge to Tyler Breeze and Fandango in NXT. Let's go. Great stuff. And he says that he's technically a free agent and he could compete wherever he would like. Well, he can't compete in NXT as a free agent. He's going to have to sign a contract with NXT. They're, they, they're not going to let him just, just wrestle in there without a contract. In NXT, though, know, this is, this to me, this is a little troublesome. This is a little troublesome. Why? Because, one... He's, the, he's one half of the Impact Wrestling Tag Team Champions. And he's a free agent. He's not signed to a contract. And he's openly saying on Twitter, let's, uh, hey, Kushida, let's go after uh, Breeze and Fandango and NXT. Let's do it. Let's go. You know, that that's troublesome. Why, why put the belts on him? See, this is why I said in the beginning why the North should have defeated the Motor City Machine Guns and not dropped the title to them. Because... Alex Shelley can leave any, at any time he wants. Alex Shelley could sign a contract with NXT tomorrow, and he could be back in NXT. And where does that leave the, the Impact Wrestling World Titles? And wh- how does that look for Impact Wrestling? How does that look for Impact Wrestling if, if he does that? Same thing with Diona Perrazzo. She's working on a per-appearance basis. She's not on a contract, but she's a knockout champion. What if tomorrow Cody Rhodes gives her a, a an offer she can't refuse and she signs a contract and tomorrow they, they lose Alex Shelley and Diona Prazo and they both they both hold belts in Impact Wrestling. How's that gonna look for Impact Wrestling? There's no way the North should have lost those titles to the Motor City Machine Guns. No way in hell. That that's that was my opinion at Slammiversary. That's that's how I felt after Slammiversary, and that's how I still feel now. They should have left the titles on the North and built up a feud with them against the Good Brothers. So I, I'm not uh, – great job. Great job, Alex Shelley, to indicate, to indicate that, uh, hey, uh, let's, let's – I, I want to go over to NXT. Same thing with um, Ken Shamrock a few weeks ago, you know, openly campaigning for a job with the WWE. <sighs> this stuff is going to stop, man. This stuff's going to stop. They – Impact's got to – they have to wrap up this talent. And they can't – in my opinion, they can't put titles on, on people that aren't, that aren't under contract. Horrible. Just looks horrible for them if if you have somebody on a contract and you put the belt on them and the next day they leave. Just looks really bad. Just just looks terrible. And is Alex Shelley going to NXT? Uh, he's he's all for it. He's all for it. And I'm sure uh, I'm sure Triple H has seen this. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure Triple H has seen this tweet and uh, wouldn't mind you know stealing. Stealing some talent away from uh, from Impact Wrestling because they're, like I said last week, they're 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 cashing in on Impact success. So he just uh, it just it doesn't it doesn't look good. It doesn't look good for Impact Wrestling. That that's all I have to say on that. So Killer Cross, Killer slash Carrion Cross, decided to um, open up again. And talk about what led his to his impact wrestling departure. So he decided to open up again and talk about it. So so I think we've had enough about this, you know, a, a few months back when he when he was looking to, to leave. So uh, the reason why he said he said it all came down to wanting more money and an increase in creative control of my character. Impact wasn't willing to give it to me. So I wanted to become a free agent and explore my opportunities. Okay, we've been down this road before, Killer slash Carrion Cross. Okay, you, you first off, you said you wanted more money, but you signed a contract. When you sign a contract in professional wrestling, when you sign a contract anywhere, you 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 should honor that contract, right? I mean, you sign a contract for a specific amount of money. Uh, you you got a little success, and you said, oh well, you know what? I want more money. 
It doesn't work that way. When you sign a contract, you know, and I don't want to go into this again, but since 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 Killer Cross slash Carrion Cross wants to discuss why he led Impact Wrestling, I'm going to discuss again my feelings about it. Okay, so so when you sign a contract, you honor the contract. You don't sign a contract for a specific amount of money and say, you know what? No, no, no. You know, six months in, you know, I, I want more money. No, that's not how it works. And he said he wanted more creative control of his character. Okay, great. Look at where he went. Look at where he went. He wants more creative control. He signed with the WWE, NXT. What's the first thing that the WWE slash NXT did? What's the first thing that they did? They changed his name from Killer Cross to Carrion Cross. Yeah, great. You look, look really looks like you have complete creative control over your character in NXT. You know, the first thing they did, oh no, we're going to change your name to Carrion Cross. You know, I, great, ch- great stuff, great stuff, yeah. Impact Wrestling wasn't giving you enough uh, creative control, and now you have less creative control with NXT. Granted, I'm sure you're getting a little bit more money, uh, but that that's fine. You got what you wanted, uh, but... Try that with uh, try that with WWE. Try try that with NXT. I want you to say to them, I want you to go to Vince McMahon's office in six months and say, you know, Vince, I I, I want more money. I want more. See what he tells you. See what he tells you. Right? Uh, say, oh, um, um, well, you, you can't do that because you have a separated shoulder now, so you're gonna be out for a bit. And which, you know, I I, I hope, you know, I I hope that separated shoulder does heal quickly. I don't like anybody getting injured, so I, I do hope that, that you do have a speedy recovery. Um, carry across but stop the crap with it with 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 impact already stop the crap with impact already you know you, it's, um, uh, oh, the way i see it uh, you're at fault here you didn't honor your contract and uh that's that's the bottom line as far as i'm concerned so you know stop popping off about impact wrestling okay thank you very much thank you very much carry and cross so bound for glory is coming up and fightful.com apparently was able to get a hold of the lineup for uh, Bound for Glory, October twenty fourth. So, and it's it's not this is not set in stone. This is not set in stone. It's it's a rumored card. Uh, so here's the rumored card for Bound for Glory. And I know uh, B um, BQ talked about it on um, uh, his uh, last podcast. But I'm just going to run down the matches quickly. That's that's been rumored for the show uh, for the Impact Wrestling World Championship. Eddie Edwards against Ken Shamrock. Not very excited about that, but again, it's rumored, so we don't know even know if that's going to be the actual uh, main event. I, I hope not. I, I hope they do something better uh, in the main event. Uh, Ken Shamrock, uh, you know, if he's on the undercard, that's fine. Um, but um, Eddie in the world title match against Eddie Edwards, not really a feeling it at all because I have a I have a um, uncomfortable feeling that if they go that route, that Ken Shamrock is going to win the Impact Wrestling World Championship. Which would, uh, which would give uh, trolls some fresh material, in my opinion. But it's okay. I'll, I'll shoot them all down. Uh, Impact Wrestling Tag Team Championship. Uh, the rumored match is the Motor City Machine Guns versus the North versus the Good Brothers versus Ace Austin and Madman Fulton. So I'm thinking if this is the match that happens, um, Motor City Machine Guns, unless, of course, Alex Shelley is already under contract with NXT, uh, then this match will probably become a three-way match a three team match for the for the tag team championship uh, but if uh, if Alex Shelley is not under contract with NXT uh, before October 24th then uh, I'm thinking the north is going the north are going to get their titles back uh, the, the the machine guns I think are going to lose their titles they, they got to lose their titles here I, I mean Alex Shelley wanting to go next they, they got to take the titles off the Motor City Machine Guns unless they unless they sign Alex Shelley to a contract if they sign Alex Shelley to a contract fine uh, but if they don't have him on a contract he remains a free agent they got to take the belts off them uh, give them to the north. don't give them to the good brothers yet I would say give them to the north and let the north um, even Ace Austin and Madman Fulton I wouldn't be uh, I wouldn't um wouldn't mind, uh, but I, I would say keep the titles of the Good Brothers for now, for now, and uh, and um, they'll eventually get it, but but not not just yet. Remember, they're on a contract for two years, so they'll eventually get those t- tag team titles. Um, Impact Knockout Championship, as I mentioned earlier, Perazzo against Kyler Ray, that's obvious. Um, Rich Swan against Eric Young. See, guys, Rich Swan has not retired, so the R- Rich Swan is rumored to come back and bound for glory against Eric Young. That's an exciting match. Now, here's what I was thinking. Here's what I was thinking. What if what if next week? Eric Young defeats Eddie Edwards and becomes the new 
Impact Wrestling World Champion, and uh, the main event at Bound for Glory becomes Eric Young, which, which which won. To me, that's a better that's a better main event. That's a better main event, and and I'm thinking maybe they released this rumored card to uh, Fightful to kind of a uh, kind of like a swerve, like Eric Young's going to win next week, but we don't want anyone to know about it, and um, something along those lines. But uh, I think Eric Young defending the Impact World Championship against uh, Rich Swan. I know there's major heat there. I think that's a much better, much better main event than uh, Eddie Edwards against Ken Shamrock. In my opinion, then there's a six way uh, uh, impact X Division title match. Uh, Rohit Raju defending the title against the uh, six guys, uh, the if he's still the champion, but the, um, the participants are not announced. And there's apparently going to be a call your shot rumble at uh, Battle for Glory. So, so that's that's the rumor card. So, um, yeah, that's it's it's not terrible. Just I, again, I hope there's a I hope the main event is not Edwards versus Shamrock. I hope we get a better main event than that. All right, so the sportster.com another just fantastic another fantastic article. Fantastic article by uh, the sportster.com. So the the title of the article is is okay. It's just 10 opponents EC3 needs to face in TNA. Well, they have the one mistake there. It's not TNA. It's Impact Wrestling. They're still calling it TNA. Uh, on uh, August 29th, 2020, they're still referring it to 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 TNA. So, uh, 10 opponents EC3 needs to face in TNA. Okay, fine. Fair enough. But let, let's let's read a little bit of the article. You know, the opening paragraph. It's official. And this is written by, uh, by um, a gentleman named Paul Frew. Okay, so he's like, it's official. Ethan Carter III has returned home to Impact Wrestling. Yeah, it's official. Now, on August, th- this was this was released two days ago. By the way, this was released on August twenty seventh. This article. So on August twenty seventh, it was official. It became official. Uh, EC three has returned home. The, the well, he calls him e- Ethan Carter the third. He's not going by Ethan Carter the third anymore. He's EC three. But it's official. Ethan Carter the third has returned home to Impact Wrestling. All right, wonderful. So so after uh, what o- almost over a month, almost o- almost over a month, uh, uh, the sports to decide to say it's official. Uh, EC3 is back in, in Impact Wrestling. Great job. Great job, Sportster. So, I think the landscape in TNA is a little different from how he left it two years ago. You know, the landscape, he means he means the landscape in Impact Wrestling is a little different from how he left it two years ago. You know, and, and, he, and he refers to, sometimes he refers to it to Impact Wrestling, sometimes he refers to it as TNA, which is, which is just, just, just ridiculous. Just, just ridiculous. So let's read some of the the guys. Let's see. And this article is filled with such inaccurate information. So let's 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 read this um, wonderful article. Let's go. One of the guys he he says is um, is Chris Bay. Okay, is Chris Bay. So here we go. Chris Bay. Here here's what he writes. This is what Paul Fru writes. <laughs> he writes the current X Division champion Chris Bay has had an impressive year. Yeah, the current X Division champion. You know, on August 27th, this was written. Remember, on August 27th, the current X Division champion, Chris Bay, has had an impressive year. Has had an impressive year. Yeah, ooh, it's been so impressive, I guess, Paul Fru doesn't even realize that Rohit Raju is now the X Division champion. Great job. Great stuff there, Paul Fru. Great, great stuff. The current X Division champion has had a, a Chris Bay. Impressive, yeah. Great, great stuff there. So let's let's go down to Brian Myers. Let's see what he says about Brian Myers. Let's see. Let's let's we'll scroll down to Brian. Yeah, Brian Myers. I'm gonna read the whole thing. If EC3 is going to make his mark on, on impact, then he's going to need to pick up some victories. Oh, really? Really, Paul Fru? Is that what EC3 is gonna to need to do to make his mark again on impact? He's gonna need he's gonna to need to pick up a couple of victories. Just wonderful writing here by Paul Fru. You know, uh, one person who needs who who knows how to lose with style is Brian Myers, formerly known as Kurt Hawkins. Yeah, I'm sure Brian Myers would love to read that. Would love to one person that who knows how to lose with style is Brian Myers. And here, this is the best line of the whole paragraph. He goes, "While Brian Myers is yet to debut on Impact, and it's unknown what type of character he will appear as, if he chooses to return to his losing ways." Then it could help EC3 get the momentum going and show that he belongs in the world title picture again. So let me read the first line again. 
from an article written on August 27th, 2020. It goes, while Brian Myers is yet to debut on Impact, and it's unknown what type of character he will appear as. Yeah, just great stuff. Great stuff, yeah. Brian Myers has not yet debuted on Impact Wrestling yet. Just just fantastic stuff here by um by Paul Fru. Just just world class writing. World class writing here by Paul Fru. Uh then we have Rob Van Dam. You know, Rob Van Dam, you know, let's uh let's uh let's read the last. He's like despite both men having lengthy runs in TNA, talking about Rob Van Dam and E C three, they never crossed paths in the ring. A rivalry will make an interesting clash of styles as RVD prefers to kick and fly. <laughs> While EC3 dominates by using his strength and power. And a win over a legend like Van Dam would help get Carter's career back on track. Yeah, a win over Rob Van Dam in uh, 2020 is definitely what uh, EC3 needs to get his career back on track. Because, you know, he's, he's, his career is not back on track already. You know, he but he needs that victory over Rob Van Dam to get his career back on track. Yeah, and and he's still calling him. Car- Why is he calling him Carter? He's not going by Ethan Carter anymore. Wonderful stuff. Just, just wonderful, wonderful, wonderful stuff. You know, great writing. Just terrific, terrific writing here by um, by Paul Fru and great fact checking. You know, I got to hand it to got to hand it to um, to the sportster for that's fantastic. Fantastic, fantastic fact checking on their part. Another thing that 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 Paul Fru writes, he writes, uh, he writes, um, uh, the sky is the limit for EC3, who appears to have reinvented himself with a darker, menacing persona. He appears to have 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 in, reinvented himself with a dark, darker, menacing. He's appeared. He's been doing this. I think the day after he was released by the WWE. So he's been doing this character for about three, four months now. But but according to Paul Fru, it appears that he has reinvented himself with a darker, menacing persona. Wonderful stuff. Just just top notch top notch writing here. Top notch researching. Top notch fact checking all around. Great stuff. Great stuff, Sportster. Great stuff releasing this article. That's just absolutely brilliant. Just brilliant stuff here. Just brilliant stuff here. Anyway, anyway, on that note, I'm going to say thank you so much for listening today. I'm your host, Lewis Carlin. And until next time, thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye. And stay safe, everyone. So long. Bye-bye.